So we decided to go to Chanel one day and we kind of skipped the line and people have been waiting for three to four hours. We just looked extremely snobby. We almost got yelled at by a Karen. It's a little uh, scary, depressing vlog where rich people scare me. <laughs> it's literally so embarrassing. This is what we get kicked out now. It's rich people are so fucking funny. She literally threw a fit. For what? Funny, you think we're wearing full watch. <laughs> <laughs> How can they not like you? Because like, look homeless. <laughs> no, you're not homeless. Good. Good. I, well, I did have an appointment, so it's not my fault. Yeah. One, one only, and then oh, they're so scary though. Like, I know, scared to go out. <laughs> knock you out. <laughs> we walk. We walk into the fucking section, and the girl who hates us is like sitting right there, and she okay. She turns and she looks at us. And me and Lily are like, we gotta go. <laughs> and I'm speaking in Hindi like, oh, ladki hamare dega. <laughs> so we had to yeet out of there. Dude, I'm sorry. Maybe I have no taste, but what is this? I would, you would never catch me wearing this. Hey. These are such ugly Christmas sweaters. <laughs> They're so nice, love it, nice quality. Not us trying to get kicked out again. Okay, will Anzi wear this or not? That's our new series. Maybe. Um, no. Yes. No. Cute or whatever. Don't go there. <laughs> As Lily just told me, they're still outside. <laughs> no, stop laughing. I feel bad. They make me feel bad because I had an appointment and they didn't. Technically, I didn't jump the queue because I didn't even know there was a queue. It's just the way we just walked in. Also, there's this lady who just wouldn't shut the fuck up. She kept asking, <laughs> how long you're here? How long you're here? And we're, me and Lily like, dude, just can you... Just, being socially aware is like a, a thing that you need to learn. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of you're not told in school. Yeah. And she's just like, how long are you waiting for? An hour? Oh my god, what about me? Should I wait you too? And I'm like, oh my god. Like, this is so... We don't do that in London. No one talks to each other. The security guy outside was like, take at least three to two hours. Because like, there's eight people and they're going one by one. She's right behind us. <laughs> I told her she was going to run us over. She's right behind us. Anyway. Traumatic things happen <laughs> only when I'm with Ansi. <laughs> like, <literally. laughs> so I had an appointment at Chanel, but I made an appointment with my essay before we got into the mall. I was like, you know what? There's a new Chanel collection which is launched. It's not fashion, it's beauty. So Ansi and I got to the mall. The security guard outside, and I was like, hi, I have an appointment. He's like, okay, please wait at the back of the queue. So we're like, okay, cool. We go away at the back of the queue. I call my essay, and she's like, I'm coming to get you. Obviously, I'm on time for my appointment, and then she comes to get us. Hell broke Hell loose. Broke. Fucking loose. Yes. Like shit. We. <laughs> I started shaking. I'm like, I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> I don't know her. We obviously walked into the boutique and people had been standing there for apparently like half an hour, an hour. And we know this because there was a woman that kept going up to everyone saying, How long have you been here? How long have you she been here? So she was so chatty and she, we were like, Oh, it was so uncomfortable. Like, like looking at her phone, we're like scrolling. I'm like, yeah. trying to ignore her. Then she comes, she takes us in. Oh. Next thing you know, people who are in the queue start screaming, How dare you do this? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, but I'm sorry. If you want to come to Chanel to get something, they exploded the minute they saw us walk in. They were like, these two girls just waited outside. Also, we look homeless right now, so probably that's Yeah, fine. that too. And Why should I have to dress up to come to Chanel? And rich people are powerful, okay? I'm petrified. I'm like, dude, these people can really behead us tomorrow morning. And we walk right in and we, the door shuts and we can hear yelling. Like, I'm like, yeah, oh. Lady, my poor SA was getting yelled at. I felt so bad. I apologize. I'm like, I'm so sorry. She's like, no, it's okay. You had an appointment. It's not your fault. And there was this lady who comes in. She oh, popped God. up. I'm going to ask Auntie for the footage. She walked into her like center, like her side. So like she was we shopping. were basically in the, in the front. I was looking at the beauty stuff that I wanted. So I got it. And then she's preparing it. So I was like, let me just go have a look at the shoes. We walk into the shoe section. Who's sitting there? Stared into our souls. Lily like, walks in. She's like, Auntie, walk out. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. yeah, I watched the whole thing. And she's like, disrespectful all of you because we've been waiting in line for so long and then she goes like so who's gonna help me who's gonna help me <laughs> I'm like, no one's gonna help you you literally just yell at all the workers here anyway dude i'm really bad luck like you go to the store like a million times this never happens anyway tomorrow this is one of lady's good friends her name is natasha she owns glossy makeup so recently she launched magnetic lashes so we filmed the makeup look it's on her channel it's linked below okay, so i was intent oh my on god it. i look like a model 
It looks like a model. I love the under eye highlight that really like yeah woke me up, bro. Yeah. What? I look like I so and I can you know it's very awkward for me to do a video because it's really hard for me to actually see like it's because so I'm good. doing it you know like I'm gonna use Anastasia brow freeze with the Anastasia brush. Do you cook? Yeah, like salads, pasta. I guess salads not cooking is it? But like. <laughs> You know, anything that is easy, because it's just for myself. There is a lot of work. Lasagna is a lot of work, but I love cooking in the kitchen. If I'm not filming editing, if I'm not out with Lily, I'm cooking at home. Do you want to get married? I think eventually, sometime, someday. Too young for it, I think. How old are you? 23. I reckon that like, you'll meet someone really, like, cool. Mm hmm and interesting. It's very hard. Men are not interesting. I'm interesting. I know, right? Sometimes I'm having <laughs> conversations with men and I'm like, I'd be talking to myself. I think I'd be going on dates with myself. Oh, but you would meet someone really quirky and a fellow entrepreneur or like, you know. But I don't, I feel bad because I mean, not everyone on, in 20, at 20, like men are still figuring themselves out. Oh yeah, totally. You probably need someone like 35. Oh my God, are you insane? Yeah. I'm so good. Skinny. I've never, I never did thick brows. I only do skinny. Oh, but I look, wow. Yeah. I look like a whole different person. Wait. This is what I wanted. I wanted to look different than my usual. Dude, your bell is fucking terrifying. Oh, is that really? What's going on? Hello. Smoky Eye was like a request in like uh, 1998. I've never seen myself in oh, a good smoky eye. Okay, so. Looking better. This one, right? Yeah. Easily. We can just pop it on the eye. That's insane. We just need to camp it a bit. Makeup for 300. Every That's it? Yeah. This is so beautiful. Holy shit. Um, if you want to enter the giveaway, it's like linked below all the information. But I'm also giving you a box full of lashes. We're going to select five giveaway winners and five like local winners and then five international. So you could be one of them. All you got to do is follow my account, her account, my YouTube channel, her YouTube channel. Comment on this Instagram post and that's it. Guys, look at all these lashes. You're prepping for the giveaway. The Wicked Witch of the West is here. I'm a whole different person. I know the brows kill me. We took a bunch of pictures, or I'll, I'll put it on but I'm so bed. excited. I got a taco bowl, some birria tacos. A few moments later. Look at this washroom. What? It's sparkly. I gotta show the inside. Look, what is this? This is how it opens. She freaked out. <laughs> Escape room, we're in prison. One hour later. Guys, my bunny's here for the first time. I just picked her up from my mom's house. I have this leash here, so I was thinking I could use this to tie it around them and take them for a walk. I'm gonna sit in my car, take one of them first, put them in this little leash, and let's see how that goes. Oh my god, guys, look! Hi, bunny! You like it? The white one is the worst, I'm not taking part, but the black one seems to have fun. Bunny? Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Buggy bear. Are you okay? Oh my god! Stop moving! I think she's scared. Oh. Okay, we'll take her out. Two hours later. So today I'm finally coloring my hair. I want to go a bit lighter because it's the summer and everyone has blonde hair and I want to have one or two. I've never gone blonde, blonde in so long. I've been a bit brown, a little dark brown, a little bit of highlights here and there, but I don't think I have fully gone blonde and I've never gone to the salon and did it the right way. I always do it at home and it's so bad. So yeah, I decided to color my hair. I just want to say my hair is extremely healthy. Like it is the best quality possible so that's why i'm able to go light in one day usually you gotta go in like multiple sessions you can't do that i'm just really impatient and this is a very very good salon here and i want this bold money piece i've just recently learned this term it's like two bold strands right in front of the side of your face so i want that and yeah i'm not sure how light i want to go like here First of all, it's really yellow because there's yellow like off everywhere. But it's actually pretty neutral. 
tomorrow. Okay, I don't want people to make fun of me. That's why this is at the end of the vlog or whatever. But um, if you're a girl and you have a crusty car with crusty lights and you want to fix it, I got you. I found this video on TikTok and I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna share this. There must be a few people watching this with crusty headlights. You want to fix it, but you hate going to the garage because like when you're a woman and you go to car places, they always charge you more for the stupidest shit because they know they can take you for a ride. So I followed this guy's tutorial on how to clean your headlights and it's so pretty. It works and it's not a scam. So this is what the packaging looks like. It says headlight restoration kit. It's a little dull in the side and I think here too. <laughs> I hate doing car shit. Shit, this works with just one coat and it actually works. Actually my back light's not that bad, right? I don't know why the back's okay, but Sides, the front spot. This is the finished result. Oh my god, it's so pretty and shiny. Yeah, this actually works. The mirror for sure. Look where she gets me. We're on <laughs> fucking deadline. <laughs> this is what Lily made, guys. Shit. And this is what I made. <laughs> Literally two opposites. Look at this and then look at that. No, mine was so easy. Yours looks good. Oh my god. 